So now we discuss what is Nibosh IDC command words and how to apply. Command word is very, very important. Uh, Nibosh IDC have a set of command words. So very important to understand these command words during the exam. So uh, we go, we cover in here a few command words. So in the Nibosh exam, IDC exam, understanding the correctly interpreting command words is crucial to answering question effectively. Command words guide you on what kind of response expected. Here is some breakdown of common Nibosh IGC command words, how to apply them. The word identify, identify something. The question is you identify something. For example, you identify five hazard from the scenario. Okay. So meaning recognize and briefly list name specific factor, hazard, risk or eliminates. How to apply provide short, precise list without any detailed explanation. Uh, example, identify three types of workplace hazard. This questions come to you. So straight answer, chemical hazard, physical hazard, biological hazard. So the question is identify three types of workplace hazard from your scenario. So you always stick with it. Scenario always in your mind. So simple and direct answer, chemical, physical, biological hazard. Okay. So when the question is identify, so identify three type of workplace hazard. So only write direct answer, chemical hazard, physical hazard, biological hazard, three answers completed. So outline meaning provide a brief description or summary of the main points. How to apply, give concise overview of the key aspects without going in too much detail. So example, outline the factors that could lead to the workplace stress. From your scenario, outline the factors that could lead to workplace stress. Answer is a straightforward, high workload, lack of control over tasks, poor work-life balance. So this is very straightforward answer. So in outline, you have to stick with this. So describe. Now the question is describe. Uh, give a detailed account, including all relevant characteristics, features or events. How to apply, offer more detail than an outline, explaining how to something works or the sequence of the event. Example, describe the process of conducting risk assessment. Okay, so the answer could be a uh, risk assessments involve identifying hazard, evaluating the risk associated with these hazard, deciding on a control measures, implement those measures and reviewing the effectiveness. So here in this question, when they ask you to describe, you can understand now we describe a risk assessment in involves identifying the hazard and then evaluating the evaluating the hazards and then control measures and then implement these controls and then review and the, uh, review the effectiveness so all uh, ptd uh, plan do act check is here so we have to when the question asks for describe <coughs> we have to more focus and your most word count goes there uh, explain, explain, mean, uh, make some clearly clear by providing reasons or showing the logically relationship between things. Uh, how to apply, give a thorough explanation of how or why something happens with the reason or justification. Uh, example, explain why it is important to have an emergency plan in a workplace. So now they asking you to explain and why the emergency plan is important. So answer could be, uh, this is just example. So uh, when you write, please uh, focus on the main thing. An emergency plan is uh, crucial because it's ensure that employee know how to respond in the crisis, which can reduce panic, prevent injuries and save lives. So we are giving the reasons now why it is important, why we need to have. So 
even some even you can add here uh, look your uh, local uh, regulations international leg regulation you can add here so here need some add up so give the next word is a give meaning provide a specific information typically in reason to a direct question how to apply offer the required information uh, sustenancy often inform from the fact or piece of data examples give on one example of biological hazard in the workplace so we asking you a specific example so give one example so now no need to be a go for further uh, prolong give direct answer exposure to the mold exposure to mold so exposure to a mold this is the reason of one of biological hazard simple list meaning provide the, the word list if meaning provide a series of items name or elements with further elaboration how to apply simply uh, in roman it's put the points without describing them in a detail example list three resp uh, responsibilities of imply under health and safety law so now they asking about from the law you have to write a three responsibility so uh, answer is a very straightforward provide a safe working environment conducting a risk assessment offer safety training so these uh, three answer is a direct answers so when some something ask about the list so you have to provide a list so next question is state the meaning specific clear and concisely how to apply provide straight forward forward response of in fact or a simple answer uh, one of example state the mini, uh, maximum number of hour an employee can work under the working time regulation simple so they asking you a state thing so you have to answer a state answer instead of going here and there uh, writing too much uh, and uh, if you are as i mentioned early if you writing too much it will uh, eat your uh, or burn your word count so this is a simple answer state the mini, uh, maximum numbers of hours an employee can work under the working time regulation so 48 hours per week simple answer so you can give a very simple and straight forward answer so this will save your word count so your word count you can when they asking about your detail when you after asking about the describe so in these area you can uh, use this uh, your word count so define give the exact meaning of terms or concept how to apply provide a preci precise definition possibly with the example uh, example if appropriate Ex the question example define the terms of risk now they asking you define the terms of risk so answer risk is a likelihood that a hazard will cause harm combined with the severity of that harm so risk is the likelihood that hazard will cause harm okay combined with the severity of that harm so uh, this is a definition so the asking simple definition so give them the meaning compare so show how uh, how two more things are similar and are different so now the time they asking you are comparing so how to apply highlight the similarities and differences between the item being compared so example compare the qualitative and quantitative risk assessment so answer quantitative risk assessment use subjective judgment to assess a risk the level while quantitative assessment use numerical data to calculate risk probabilities and the impact so uh, this is one of example so discuss meaning explore the topic in detail considering different aspects impl implications or arguments how to apply provide a balanced discussion considering various uh, viewpoint or factors and support your points with evidence or example so example discuss the impact of poor health and safety management on a business so now you have to discuss so answer poor health and safety management can lead to increase accidents legal penalties and loss of reputation it can also affect 
imply morals and productivity. For example, if a business fails to manage risk effectively, it may face uh, penalties, higher insurance uh, premium and, regular uh, and regu regulatory fines, which can damage its financial stability and public image. So now you gave an example as well and you discuss uh, and you did a bit argument here. So uh, this answer required a little bit more depth. So tips for uh, applying commands, the words understand the depth, the command word tell us how much depth is required. For instance, outline requires less detail than describe or explain. Plan your answer before writing, mentally outline your response, ensure you cover all necessary points in the correct depth. Uh, use relevant example where appropriate support your answer with example to demonstrate your understanding. Be concise and relevant. Stick uh, to what question asks for irrelevant questions. Information can detect from your answer and waste of time. So uh, always stick to your scenario. Make sure you give always in all question when example needed you example from the scenario always scenario 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 in your all question you always focus you take answer you give ex if you if need any example always refer to the scenario in online exam by understanding applying command words correctly you can ensure your answer meet the examiner expectations and cover the required content effectively so up to here, we are understanding the command words.